Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's Professor Williams and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about CVP or cost volume profit analysis. Um, you got to remember anytime that we do CVP we're really looking at the relationship among the revenue cost and the volume and how they impact profit so that we can make some good decisions. Um, you all are used to in financial accounting classifying all of your uh, costs as either manufacturing or administrative but those of us over here in cost accounting we're concerned about cost behavior so we're going to look at variable manufacturing costs separately from variable marketing and administrative costs um, we're also going to look at fixed manufacturing cost and fixed marketing and marketing and admin costs so you'll find that we're going to be breaking this stuff down a lot further than you're used to so I think it's going to be best if I just work a problem I've got the power tool division of ABC Hardware that sells Jigsaw. And this is what we've got. We've got 1,200 units at a price of $150 a unit. We've separated out variable costs per unit. And then we have total fixed costs. Remember, those total fixed costs are fixed across all production levels. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the quarterly operating profit if I sell those 1,200 units. Okay, so operating profit. I'm going to take my operating profit, profit, pardon me, is simply going to be my price, which is up here, this $150, minus variable cost per unit. That's going to give me, theoretically, what that's actually going to give me is my contribution margin um, per unit. I'm going to multiply that by the units of output which is always X for us. That's going to be my 1,200 units. And then remember, I'm going to take out the fixed costs because those costs are fixed whether I operate or not. I'm interested in simply the operating profit. The profit comes out that comes up as a result of producing and operating in order to make those 1,200 units. So when I do that little bit of math, I'm going to show the $150 minus 90. Remember, that's a contribution margin per unit times the 1,200 units that I made minus my total fixed cost is going to give me operating profit of $24,000. Now when I look at break-even volume, break-even volume, my question becomes at how many units is my profit equal to zero. So I'm going to try and determine at what point do I produce enough units to cover those fixed costs. So let me show you how this is done. Because remember what I'm going to do is when I'm looking at break even I want to say how the price minus the variable cost is the contribution margin. So per unit contribution margin divided into fixed costs, break even remember is when profit is at zero. So I'm actually going to set this, I'm going to solve to determine where my profit is at zero. And when I do that math substituting everything in, what I find out is that I find out that if I make 800, whoops, 800 units, I will be producing enough of these jigsaws to cover $48,000 in fixed costs. Now if I want to know the break-even volume in sales dollars, I simply take those 800 units and I multiply them by my price per unit at $150 and it's going to tell me at a sales volume of $120,000 I will break even because this 800 units and this $120,000 is actually the same thing. Um, let's see what the contribution margin ratio is next. Alright, let's remember that when we talk about contribution margin it is the amount that our price per unit is 
above variable costs because what that margin, what that contribution margin, what it contributes to is it contributes to covering these fixed costs. So for every unit that I produce, for every unit I produce, the difference between price per unit and variable cost is my contribution margin. The only thing that's different here is because it says ratio. I just take my regular contribution margin, multiply it by 100%, and you all can see right away that the $150 price per unit minus variable costs is simply going to be that $40. Or more likely is to say that it ends up being 0 0.40 or 40%. So um, let's see, sales dollars and units to generate an operating profit of $57,000. Let's do that one next. All right, so now if I have a target profit of $57,000, then what I know is that I have got to sell, I have got to sell a given number of units, X, at my price in order to equal not only my fixed cover my fixed costs of $48,000, but to also cover my target profit. And because I don't get to keep all $150 of that price per unit, I have to divide it by the contribution margin. Because we've already calculated this, didn't we? We calculated that up in that previous step, and we knew that this was 0.40 or 40%. So I'm going to say my target profit, 57,000, plus my total fixed costs right here, divided by 0 0.40 is going to give me the units needed, right? The units needed. So let me do that math real quick. So now what I know, whoop, there we go, I'm back to where I needed to be. So now what I know is that, remember, this was simply the sales dollars, which is always price times units, is that I need to sell $262,500 worth of jigsaws in order to profit $57,000, because that's going to give me the 48000 to color my fixed costs plus my 57,000 in profit. Um, so how many units do I have to sell in order to generate that 262.5? Well, that's probably the easiest thing that you've, uh, you've done all day. If I already know that my price per unit is $150, and now I know how much I need to generate, so it's simply gonna be target profit plus my my fixed cost divided by contribution margin, this number right here, divided by that $150 price per unit. So I have to produce 1,750 units to generate 262.5, which will cover my fixed cost of 48,000 and give me my target profit of 57. So now let's look at the number of units that will produce an operating profit of 15% of sales dollars. So how am I going to approach this? I'm simply going to assume X to be the unknown number of units because see, remember X is always my units of output. But at this point, I'm solving for the unknown number of units. So I'm going to assume X to be that unknown number that would produce an operating profit of 15% of sales dollars. Based on that, I'm going to set it up just like an algebra equation. And this is what I'm going to look like. Um, remember, you've actually seen all of these pieces before. Price minus variable cost, remember, is my contribution margin. X is my unknown number. F is simply up here, my fixed costs, right? 15% is what I want my profit to be. 
and P times X profit or price times units is going to be my revenue. Now I've just got to solve. I'm going to plug in what I know and solve for X. All right, so I've done, I've, I've shown you all my steps, but this is where I originally substituted into my formula. And then I've just gone through the algebra steps to solve that equation by getting X Uh, isolated, there's that's the word I was looking, X isolated on one side of the equation and $48,000 isolated on the other. And what it tells me is, is that 1,280 units, I will produce an operating profit of 15% of sales dollars. So remember that's 15%, let me get rid of that, there we go. Remember what we're looking at is 15% of sales dollars. And remember, sales dollars are simply price per unit times the number of units produced. So, um, hope this helps. I'll work um, another section of this problem a little bit later, but for now, hopefully that gives you a little bit of a, of a foundation to get started on this CVP analysis. See you guys around.